My sister tried to cut off contact with her best friend for literally no reason after a disaster wedding, but a disgusting truth was revealed which exposed my sister as a manipulator and liar. About a year ago, my sister Anne named me the maid of honor, and I found this strange because ever since she was little, she swore to her best friend Ruby that she'd be her maid of honor. Everyone asked Anne about this throughout the wedding planning, but she said nothing. When the big day came, Ruby was there, but at the back wearing an eccentric dress. Her fashion sense has always been crazy, and therefore her dress gathered no attention, but despite this, it made Anne believe she was being outshone. She planned to spill champagne on Ruby's dress and started walking to her holding a glass, but thankfully I caught her. When I tried to talk her out of it, she started screaming. The entire audience turned to us, and I simply told Anne that either she stops screaming right now and stops embarrassing herself, or I will leave the wedding venue right now. I saw her go red, she stopped yelling and excused herself to the bathroom. The rest of the wedding was rather awkward, and you could definitely feel the sour taste in the air. I probably should have, but I did not talk to Ruby. Well, ever since the wedding happened, Anne started cursing Ruby out and saying that their friendship is over. She has not blamed me at all in any way which I find surprising, but has shifted every ounce of blame onto her former best friend, for in my opinion, absolutely no reason. And so one day after another one of Anne's F. Ruby tirades, I snapped. I said that she's been friends with Ruby most of her life and she knows what she dresses like and that she should have expected this. If it was that much of a problem, she should have found a way to mention it to her or just made her a bridesmaid or told her or communicated in any way. Anne lost it with me. She sent Ruby some really horrible messages after she screamed at me, also telling me some nasty and horrible things. She didn't say a word to me all of yesterday, but she's bad-mouthing me to our dad who is on her side. My mom has told Anne that she should apologize to Ruby for the nasty messages she sent and for yelling at me so Anne isn't talking to her either. I don't even know what's going on, but Ruby swears on her life that they didn't have an argument or anything before the engagement. Anne says that that's none of my business, and I should be supporting my real sister. My dad agrees with her, and she's rallied the other bridesmaids against me, so I do not know what to do. Update 1. I decided I wanted to let my sister Anne know how much she meant to me, and I was going to tell her that this morning. However, she looked like someone peed in her cereal again, so I did not. Anne's husband Dave asked me if I could talk to Anne, because they've also apparently had a massive fight because he tried to defend Ruby on the wedding night. He asked me if I could explain where he misstepped and how to make it up to her. This is the first time he's ever asked me for help with their relationship, so he's clearly at a loss. I said I was just as confused and we didn't even know why Ruby wasn't at the bridal party, so he should just try and talk it out with Anne. This is when it gets weird. Dave said that the reason Ruby wasn't in either wedding party was because he wanted her as a best woman, and Anne wanted her as a maid of honor, but Anne wouldn't budge and said that they should just drop her from both parties to be fair. He said that she explained it to Ruby and that's why they had a fight, because Ruby wanted to be included. I said okay and just hung up, but the more I think about it, the more confused I am. If they had a massive fight about Ruby being maid of honor, surely Ruby would remember. Also, I don't know why Dave would want Ruby as his best woman, when to my understanding he only met her after he started dating Anne. Update 2. I'm even more confused. Dave called me up about 30 minutes ago, asking me in a very angry tone of voice if any of his groomsmen behaved inappropriately towards me. I could hear Anne in the background shouting something. I said that they had been perfect gentlemen at the wedding, and that I hadn't had any contact with them since. He then asked me if Ruby knew that she was meant to be best woman. I said, not to my understanding, but it was possible that I don't know as both she and Anne had been quite secretive about what happened between them, and that he'd be better off asking her himself. He laughed and hung up. Ruby has texted me asking me what's happening and if I knew about the best woman and maid of honor thing. Just now, I got a message from one of the bridesmaids saying that if Dave calls me, I shouldn't answer him. Anne is currently on the phone to my dad screaming at him. I have no clue what's going on, but I think somewhere in this mess is the truth of what actually happened. Update 3. There has been a lot of shouting and tears today. Everything has been exposed. My sister Anne has been lying to just about everyone. Firstly, it turns out that Anne's husband Dave has been to jail and is an ex-substance addict. He met Anne's best friend Ruby before he met Anne. After he recovered, he was really struggling with money and Ruby helped him a lot. He considers her to be one of his closest friends. Two years later, Dave was doing well at his job and much more stable and functional. Around this time, Ruby introduced him to Anne. Anne was very reluctant to have a relationship with Dave because of his past, but she had strong feelings for him. Eventually, they began dating, but she was still ashamed of the person he used to be, so she told us that they met over a dating app. Dave consented to this at the time. As Dave became more comfortable with himself and the relationship became more serious, he told Anne that she needed to be honest with us about his history. She agreed to tell us, but she didn't. She wrote Dave a fake letter from my family about how we were really grateful for his honesty and accepted him. She told Ruby that my parents had reacted really badly, so Ruby never brought it up with Dave or my family because she thought it was still a very sensitive topic. When Dave proposed, Anne started freaking out about the wedding. Dave wanted people from his support group to be there, Ruby as his best woman, which would expose the lies. But she still didn't want to tell us who Dave was, or Dave that she had lied to him, so she decided to continue lying instead of coming clean. So here is what Anne did. She pretended to be really upset that she couldn't have Ruby as her maid of honor, so she could make the argument that she should be dropped from both wedding parties. She told Dave that she had explained their decision to Ruby, and that Ruby had taken issue with it to keep him happy. In reality, she knew that if Ruby knew she was meant to be best woman, it could easily get back to me and my mum, and that
and then raise questions from us about Ruby's relationship with Dave. So she didn't tell Ruby anything at all, and that's why Ruby was so confused about what happened and couldn't think of anything. Anne then told Dave and all of his friends from his support group that they shouldn't mention the addiction in speeches or even casual conversation because it was a sensitive subject for certain family members before the wedding. She then told the bridesmaids so many lies about Ruby. She told them that she had a habit of causing scenes, that she was going to try and sleep with the groomsmen, that one of them was an ex-boyfriend of hers that dumped her, that she would get way too drunk. Essentially, she painted Ruby as a disaster waiting to happen so the bridesmaids wouldn't like her, and also so that they could keep her away from certain people, specifically the ones that also knew Dave, at the wedding. Anne also told the bridesmaids that the only reason that Ruby was invited is because I idolize her, so they wouldn't repeat any of the lies she told to me. After the wedding, Anne put on her enormous meltdown about the dress. The bridesmaids obviously didn't have a very positive opinion on Ruby, so they were easy to convince that it was meant as a genuine slight. My dad did what Anne apparently expected everyone to do by caving immediately because she was the bride. If me and my mom had done the same, Anne would basically have used it as an excuse to cut Ruby out of everyone's life. Anne tried to do the same thing with Dave's groomsmen by insisting to him that they had said inappropriate things about the bridesmaids. The idea was to basically remove anybody that knew the truth about Dave from the general social circle so it wouldn't come up again. At this point, Dave smelt a rat. He asked what exactly the issue was with Ruby's dress and what exactly his friends had said. Anne panicked and accused him of not loving her, choosing his friends over her, etc., and it turned into a massive argument. Dave was mad and very suspicious, so he started calling people up trying to figure out what happened. A couple of the bridesmaids said that Anne was telling the truth about the groomsmen, but most were kind of weirded out by the request, and I think they successfully got that across to Dave. He called me to ask if I knew what was going on. Anne told Dave that I was just like him caring about Ruby more than her, and also that I wasn't there when it happened, but the timing of the story didn't match up, so Dave called me anyway. That was the weird phone call in the previous part. At this point, he knew she was spouting BS, so he asked her up front what was going on. She broke down and told Dave everything. He was fuming. He texted us all to let us know about his past and then basically kicked Anne out. She came to us where she then had to explain everything again. Anne is absolutely shaken. I never considered her capable of this kind of deception and manipulation, and I don't think she has ever done something like this before. I feel sorry for her even though I'm really hurt by what she did because she feels so guilty and absolutely miserable because she's worried that things will never be worked out with Dave. She's gone to bed now very upset because our mom won't even look at her. She's fuming that Anne would deceive and hurt her and so many other people like this. I do understand where she's coming from. My dad is also very shocked and hurt. Anne texted Ruby. She sent her a message explaining and apologizing, but obviously Ruby is really angry and upset. She just told her that she couldn't speak to her right now, but maybe she'd call her in the morning once they'd both had a chance to calm down. Dave is probably the most hurt out of everyone and I understand why. He wouldn't speak to Anne, but he did tell me that he really thought that he had our acceptance and that the letter she had written to him had been his most treasured possession ever since he received it, and to find out that it was false was absolutely crushing. I told him that we did accept him for who he was and that nobody blamed him, but I don't think it helped much. He has asked for distance from our family and I understand why. I'm not sure when he'll be willing to speak to Anne again or if he wants to be her husband after this. I wouldn't blame him if he goes on to find someone else. Update 4. The past two weeks have been very stressful. My sister Anne and my mom have been fighting and crying for most of it. Sadly, we have learned that this grand level of deception of Anne's was not out of the blue. She has had this obsession with her perfect image for a very long time. She confessed to a lot of stuff from her job. She had a mentally challenged person fired because he was in the same department as her, and she could not have him ruining her department's image. I feel so distant from the person she has become. There's tension between us that I'm not sure will ever go away, even though it really pains me as well because she's my sister. Once my dad heard some of the revelations, he decided that Anne should go to a therapist. Anne really struggled against the decision which led to a massive fight between her and my dad. I've never seen my dad so angry. Neither has she, which is probably why she eventually agreed. The therapist is supposed to help Anne process her emotions after everything that has happened, and also hopefully get to the root of her problem. I suggested family therapy. My parents are looking into it. Hopefully we can learn a bit more about boundaries and each other and eventually move on from this. Anne has been talking a lot to Ruby. From the sounds of it, Ruby is still very upset, but I have not been meddling so much in their relationship, and I am leaving them to it. Me and Ruby still speak a lot, but not about Anne. Dave sent a message two days ago that I think has sadly resolved this very terrible situation. After learning that this is part of a pattern of behavior, he doesn't think that he wants to be in a marriage with Anne at all, as he feels that she hasn't only hurt him deeply, but deceived him about the type of person she is. I know from Ruby that he is also seeking therapy and has confided in friends about what happened, so he has a strong support system around him. I'm not getting involved with him other than that as I think he deserves distance from my family after everything, but knowing he's okay does make me feel a little better. Anne has taken this news badly. When she first got the message, I think she had a panic attack. She was breathing really quickly and shaking and crying. Uh, she knows that Dave learned about her past from Ruby and is absolutely furious with Ruby for telling him. She as preoccupied with the thought of being someone divorced as she is with the fact that Dave is leaving her. I really hope that the therapist helps her get better and although I'm not taking it as hard as my mom, I do feel guilty for not noticing this sooner because she's just not well. 